So let's start with the big question. What is vibe coding? At its core, vibe coding is an approach that prioritizes intuition, feel, and rapid feedback over a strict pre-written plan. Now think of vibe coding like a jazz musician improvising a solo. They know the rules, the music theory, but the performance is guided by emotion, by the energy in the room, by a moment-to-moment -moment conversation with their instrument. The goal is expression and discovery. This is often called vibe-driven development, or VDD. It's not about having no plan, it's about letting the developer's gut feeling and the immediate feedback from the app itself guide the very next step. For a vibe coder, decisions aren't made by a committee, they're made by a gut feeling. A developer thinks, this button just feels wrong here, or this animation needs to be snappier. That's the guiding principle. So who is this vibe coder? It's someone with a mindset that's more artist than architect. They're comfortable with ambiguity. They embrace the journey of creation, and their first instinct is to build a quick prototype, not write a long document. Vibe coding is where true innovation can happen. Breakthroughs don't come from checklists, they come from play and happy accidents. But, and this is a very big but, vibe coding is not a silver bullet. If you try to build a complex banking system purely on vibes, you're going to have a very, very bad time. Ultimately, vibe coding is the natural result of decades of progress in our tools. It gives a name to the human-centric creative process that's always been at the heart of making great things. It's a reminder that building amazing software isn't just about logic. It's also about artistry, 